So for today, um, we have a, on, on the Thursday workouts in general, are these um, 20 work, 10 rest, kind of a Tabata style, they call it, um, thing where you're going for four rounds, 20 work, 10 rest. And so with that, we have four rounds of, um, or sorry, four circuits of like four rounds of 20 work, 10 rest for today. So it's kind of four supersets. Um, and so with that, um, we're gonna need a couple pieces of equipment. Um, one, we will need kind of our, I think I, I feel like for most of these, we've had a, some need for a slippery surface. So to the, today, you'll need your slippery surface, um, whatever it, um, whatever it may be um, for you, whether it's paper plates or um, uh, a towel if you have a hard hard floor. Um, and uh, and then for um, and then along with that, if you have any weight, um, get that weight. We're going to be doing. Um, goblet squats and uh, some version of a deadlift, okay? Um, so slippery surface, um, as heavy of a weight as you can find for some version of a deadlift. Um, and um, I was saying this to a couple of people, I think I reached out to some of, some of you guys yesterday. Um, if you need like some type of equipment, some type of weights, um, reach out to us. We have kind of started borrowing out equipment from the gym, we'll just kind of like just recording who's borrowing it, letting you borrow it. And then when this is all over, we'll, you know, you'll bring it back or whatever. But like, um, yeah, just wanting to make sure that everybody has something while things, while we still have things at the gym um, to offer. Um, so, um, cool. Um, so with that, um, for the first, first circuit um, or first superset, um, we're starting off with goblet squats. So, um, you know, if you don't have any uh, like official weights, use a, use a backpack, use um, a textbook or a, something heavy, a gallon of milk, whatever. And, um, and you're just gonna be doing goblet squats. So I'm gonna, yeah, so. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm here. Squatting down, up. Trying to make sure that we're not leaning too far forward, trying to be relatively straight up, getting that, getting down nice and deep. Um, trying to keep our, our chest up on these. Um, so that's, that's number one, goblet squat. Um, if you don't have any weight at all, I would recommend doing a, an explosive speed squat or a, a jump squat. Um, both of those would be fine. Um, and then for the second one, we have a kettlebell or dumbbell um, deadlift. So you can do that a couple of ways. I don't know if you can see the floor here. So you could either do that with a weight standing up like this. So we hinge up kind of the side and lifting it. All right. You could, if you want to get a little bit lower into it, you can turn the weight on its side, hinge, and I'm kind of grabbing both hands on like the same spot, which is a little awkward. Um, but it looks like this, or if you have a lighter weight and, um, you're not able to like really feel challenged by whatever that is, I would maybe have you doing some version of like a, like a single leg balance reach, maybe with your weight on the opposite side of the leg that's balancing. All right. And I'll have you kind of switch every couple of reps so you can even it out. It's probably two reps, switch, two reps. You won't be able to get a ton of reps um, with that, but just as long as you're you're getting some work for those hamstrings. Um, so that's the first superset is those goblet squats and those um, deadlifts. So that's the first one. Second one is going to be plank jacks and mountain climbers. So kind of core and conditioning. So then I don't want to get my weight out of the way. Um, all right, so plank jacks, you're in a plank and you're doing jacks with your feet. So it kind of just looks like your feet are doing jumping jacks um, and you're trying to hold that plank and it's kind of taking your body out of the normal stable position and kind of forcing you to have to re-stabilize every time your feet hit the ground. So 
it's, it's a lot harder than um, a regular stay still plank. Um, for regressions for that, if that's, if you feel like you're like arching your, you know, arching your hips forward too much when you're doing your jacks, um, I might have you just doing a plank with a toe tap where you at least have one point of a stable base at all times. Um, and that generally will help people to, to be stable enough to kind of get through it. It's only 20 seconds, so it'll go super fast. Um, obviously, if it starts out easy, it might not end easy, so feel free to regress to that. Um, that is the first one. The second one, mountain climbers. I mean, everybody knows mountain climbers, I feel like. So we here, driving the knees, going as fast as you can, hard as you can. Those are for conditioning. It's meant to get the heart rate up as well as kind of work the, the bottom up, um, kind of leg to torso version um, or function of the core. So it's kind of getting our lower abs a little bit with that. So that's circuit two, or superset two, gosh. Um, it's early, I gotta shake the cobwebs out of my brain. Um, so then we have circuit th superset, oh superset three, elevated bridges and pikes. So elevated bridges. Those, like they sound, something elevated. If you have a couch, wonderful. A chair, wonderful. A, a ledge that's elevated, wonderful. You'll be here. All right. So just lifting your hips up so there's a straight line from your shoulder to your knees. All right. And just trying to get as hard of a squeeze in your hamstrings and in your glutes as you can get. So that's that first one. Everybody should be able to do that. If it's too easy, try to use that weight that you use for your, your deadlifts to kind of sit it on your hips um, so that you have a little bit of extra weight. If you find the weight is rolling too much, you can bring your feet down to the floor and, uh, and try it like that. If you have a service that you're able to, um, you, could, you could essentially have your, your shoulders on the back of it, the weight on your hips, and be doing the bridges like this as well. That way the weight wouldn't roll either. A um, couple different ways you can try that. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one, pikes. So this is our slippery surface one. Feel like we all know pikes. That's the straight leg version of bringing our feet closer to our hands. So here and then to here, all right? So it's floating up, coming back nice and slow. Trying to make sure we're not ever going further. Um, making sure we're not arching our back. Um, and then regression for that would be knee tucks. All right, so bending the knee, that version would be our alternative for that. And then for the final superset, more core. The bear and Spider-Man planks, okay? So um, for these, the bear, we'll get rid of our slippery surface. It's almost basically just like you're doing a knee tuck, except that your feet aren't gonna move. So you'll be here, and then you're gonna pull your hands downward towards your toes, and then trying to pull your toes towards your hands like you're trying to do a knee tuck. But obviously since your feet aren't on a slippery surface, they won't move. Um, so that's the first one, the bear. The second one, Spider-Man plank. I'm gonna give you the option for the progression being a Spider-Man push-up, um, but a Spider-Man plank is where you're here, and then you're bringing your, your leg up as high as you can to the side. I don't know if you can even see me. So I'm just going kind of side to side. That was as if the, there was a clear floor in front of me. Um, and then if you're power level, I'm gonna have you doing a um, a Spider-Man push-up since we don't really have any pushing in this workout. So I'm going to be here. And this is obviously going to work your core as well. Um, but also kind of working the chest and triceps and shoulders along with it. So um, that's, that's kind of the above and beyond um, thing I'm going to give you guys as an option for that. But um, we are still kind of mainly hitting the core on that one. Um, so that's the whole thing. Okay, so I'll, I'll be going through saying them again before we start them, but um, for now that's the whole workout. Um, 
And uh, so with that, oh, besides besides the 50 touchdown squats at the end. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, just kidding. Um, so with that, um, let's get warmed up. I'm gonna have us start by doing a figure four stretch. So we'll get on the ground and we will cross our foot over, pull our knee, so starting like this, pulling through for 30 seconds. I'm just kind of letting that hip loosen up. Breathing, feeling the stretch, pulling a little bit more. Here we go. Good, good, good. And switch, switch sides. <laughs> breathing, breathing, try to pull a little bit further, pass what's comfortable, and good, 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 all right, then we're going to do um, rotating Spider-Mans, so I'm going to have us get in our push-up position here, step to the side, Rotate up, get that stretch, kind of open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blade in, let it down and switch. So 10 of these on each side. There we go. There we go. There you go. All right. All right. Once we're done with our ten of the knees, I'm gonna have us doing some inchworms. So once you're done with those, I have you walk out, take your push-up position, and then walk back. Just going out and back, and we'll do that five times. Warm up the shoulders, triceps, core. Go. All right. All right, once we're done with those, I'm going to have us doing some hip step overs. We'll do the over and back, stepping over, stepping back. There we go. I'm going to do at least five of them on each side. It's kind of Get these hips moving. Oh. All right, after one of those, I'm going to have us doing overhead reverse lunges. We'll do 10 of these on each side. Try to focus on keeping nice and upright, keeping the arms pressed back, keeping the core tight, and then getting that knee all the way down, touching the floor and coming back up. No banging your knee on the ground. 
Don't cheat yourself, Tom. Partial range of motion. I do the full, full range. Once we're done with these, all right, once we're done with those, whoo, shake those shoulders out. All right, then I'm gonna get us a wide stance, and I'm gonna have us doing slow lateral squats, couple second stretch, come up, and switch, couple second stretch kind of right through here, doing that switch. And I'm gonna have us doing five on each side, Good. I need to make sure we're still keeping our back nice and flat, kind of like making a making a point of not letting ourselves come back here, but really fighting for that good posture, especially because everything is everything's online now. Everything's on our computer, so we're constantly forward, so we can think shoulders back, chest up. Even if we're hinging forward like this. It'll do us, do us some major good. All right. Ooh. All right. All right, once we're done with those, I am going to have us do some um, jump jack squats. We'll do 20 of them as our warm up before we get started then. So, I'm gonna have you do okay so make sure you have your weight nearby or um, or not if you don't have any weight at all um, we're gonna get started with those goblet squats and then those deadlifts so if you don't have your weight sing, single leg uh, balance reaches um, and for jumps or for uh, the squats it'll be jump squat everybody else it'll be goblet squat and deadlift cool all right I'm gonna get this timer pulled up here uh, all right, four rounds, 20 work, 10 rest. I'll try to be shouting out the, uh, shouting out the um, exercise as we go. All right, starting here in 10 with our squats. Three, two, one, go. And if you have a band for these as well, you can do banded squats and banded deadlifts as well. You can feel that stretch in your glutes and in your hamstrings. Make sure that back stays flat. One, rest. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Three, 
two, one, go. If you're racing your car, two, one, rest. Back to our squat. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. One more round of each. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Set one. All right, then after that, we have plank jacks and mountain climbers. All right, so plank jacks is the feet are doing kind of the, the jack while the arms are kind of in that plank, and then mountain climbers driving those knees. All right, four rounds of that. All right, starting in 10. Give it up, give it up. There we go. Whew. Back into our point, Jack. Three, oh. two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Back into mountain climbers. Thank <laughs> you. 
as long as you can, try to keep that pace up for these two. All right, back in the plank, Jax. There we go. All right. Excellent. All right. Halfway through. All right. So now for our final, not our final, our third superset here, we are starting with those elevated bridges. So if you have a weight, sitting across your hips, um, elevating, your, elevating your feet up, or doing the version where I showed you where your kind of shoulders are elevated and you're keeping the weight on there as well or just elevating your feet and having it just like that. Um, and then pairing that with pikes. So using your slippery surface, keeping those legs straight, ending in kind of that pike position or doing knee tucks as the regression. Um, all right, let's get going with it. Get your weights if you need. And we are starting here in 10, Right in the pikes. Dude, I should be doing really good right now. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back into bridges. You have bands and you're doing the one with the floor, you can also do pull apart to the band at the top. Get a little bit extra back going in this one. Three, two, one. There we go. Yes. All right, back into pikes. Three, two, one, go. Try to squeeze your core as hard as you can on the way up. There we go. One, rest. Excellent. All right, back to our bridges. A 
That's in my chair over here. Ooh. All right, back in the bikes. <laughs> here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, rest. Oh. All right, last set of bridges. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze in those boots. Feeling those hamstrings. Try to squeeze the top. Three, two, one, rest. All right, that last set of fights. Three, two, one, go. circuit. Oh, anybody see me fall over in that last one? <laughs> Maybe they'll put it on the recording. Um, all right, final circuit here is going to be the bear and Spider-Man planks or Spider-Man push-ups, okay? So I'm going to start doing Spider-Man push-ups. I might end doing Spider-Man planks. We'll see. Um, but first, yeah, that bear. If the bear is not working for you, um, you can do it from a kneeling plank position and still pulling those elbows down um, just as long as you're feeling that core actively squeezing tight, actively tucking in. Um, all right, so let's get that here. Um, so I'm going to pull up the timer. All right, so let's get it starting in 10. Starting with the bear. Three, and squeezing. Arms active, core active, lats active. Keep those knees close to the ground, hovering right above the ground. Two, one, rest. All right, and then Spider Man planks or Spider Man push ups, whatever level you're at. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, back into the bear. Ooh, three, that's good. One, go. I tuck and let's feed in. And sometimes when you get to like adjust the kind of foot position you're in, if you're too far back, you might be too hard to tuck in. If you're too close, it'll be too hard to tuck in. So try to find that happy medium. Where you can really two, one, try to rest. have like a strong tuck sensation with your core. Three, All right, back into those Spider-Man planks and push-ups. There we go. Halfway. All right. Back to our bear position hold. Squeezing that core. Pulling those hands in. Pulling those toes in. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo. I'm 
and sweat. All right, back to the push up there or Spider Man planks. Let's get them. Touchdown squats, kind of as our finisher for today. We really kind of try to burn out our legs. Um, whew, catching my breath a little bit while I'm telling you this. Okay, um, yeah, so touchdown squats. So literally just trying to be touching the ground, jumping up, trying to get done with 50 as fast as we can. Um, and obviously on these, we're, we're trying to make sure we're protecting our joints. So as soon as you come back down, touch the ground, going right into the next spot, like squat to try to cushion your landing, protect the joints. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get it. I think I'll maybe I'll, I'll make sure if we start going too long, I'll cut us off. Um, but just be going as fast as you can, and then when we're done, we'll kind of reconvene. All right, let's get it. All right, I'm gonna start us here. In three, two, one, touchdown squat. Here we go. Seven. Seven. Be down, be down, be down. Oh my gosh. All right. That was a burn, right? Oh. Well, guys. Oh, excellent job. Thank you all for, for signing on this morning. Woo. Close your feeling. 